Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, a few hours ago, Global got the data download for this year's Dragon Ball Heroes collab. And in today's video, we are going to be checking out everything that we got from this data download, including the details for a bunch of Dokkan Awakenings and Heroes Extreme Z Awakenings. So, this will probably end up being a bit of a longer video than normal. Now, before we jump into it, I did see a few questions about this sweater that I'm wearing in one of my last videos. And uh, this is actually a waifu sweater from Gamersups, along with this uh, waifu cup as well. So if you guys are interested in picking one of these up for yourself, then feel free to head down to the link in my description. It's gamersups.gg. And for a limited time, you can use my discount code TIGER for 20% off your entire order as part of their Black Friday sale. So shout out to Gamersups. Go check them out. And uh, with that said, I also have to do one more shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all the assets to this data download. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And with all that said, let's uh, scroll down a bit here and uh, get into these assets. So the first guy we have is the... I guess headliner for this year's Heroes collab, and that would be the Tech Super Saiyan God Xeno Trunks. Now, I gotta say, as a form, uh, God Trunks is not really my favorite. Like, it looks kind of weird on him. You know, like, I love Super Saiyan God Goku, I love Super Saiyan God Vegeta, but the God form, the, the red hair and everything on Trunks just looks a little bit off to me. I'm not sure what it is, to be honest. Um, he still is cool, don't get me wrong. I still like him, it's just not my favorite. Anyways, we got the uh, Super Saiyan God Trunks in his two forms. I believe this is the TUR, and uh, this is the SSR art. And then we have the Int Xeno Pan. This is the SSR, and that is the TU... Wait, hold on. This is the TUR, right? Or is this TUR? I'm actually not 100% sure. Doesn't really matter. Two forms of uh, Xeno Pan right there, who is absolutely broken, by the way. If you guys haven't seen her details, go check out my video where I go over the uh, Pan, the God Trunks, and also uh, this guy, the AGL Mechi... Mechi... Wait, what is it? Mechikabura. Mechikabura. And uh, yeah, all three of them are pretty insane, but especially I feel like the Pan and the Mechikabura are uh, just ridiculously ridiculously broken. I mean, Trunks is too, but the issue with him is that uh, he can only really be used at his full potential on a hero's team, although on that team, he's gonna be absolutely crazy. Like, all these guys, all these units for, for this year's collab are uh, insane. I don't really know what they were thinking <laughs> when they designed them, but they're, they're really, really good. Um, anyways, we got these three units, and we also have a Fizz Poutine, who's going to be the free-to-play unit for this year. So this, I believe, is the SSR, I guess, and then there's the TUR. And uh, once again, don't hold me to it, because I'm not sure. I could have them switched up. Maybe this is the TUR. Who knows? Okay, moving on, we have the Fizz Robelu, and she is a summonable unit, but she does not have a token awakening yet. Same thing with the STR Brainwashed. Uh, Supreme Kai of Time, uh, summonable on the Heroes banner, no token awakening at this point. She looks really cool, by the way. She she kind of looks like a Halloween character, like a, like a zombie almost kind of thing, you know. But anyways, uh, Supreme Kai of Time, and then we have some token awakenings. So the Tech Super Saiyan 3 GT Vegeta finally getting a token awakening. Also the Fizz Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta also getting a token awakening. We have awakenings for the STR Super Saiyan Xeno Bajex, the AGL Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Gotenks, the Int Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Gohanks, the Fizz Super Saiyan Xeno Goku, who's Dokken Awakening from the base Xeno Goku, the uh, Int Super Saiyan 3, or sorry, Super Saiyan Xeno Vegeta, Dokken Awakening from the base Xeno Vegeta, and uh, yo, this is huge. This is a big one. STR Super Saiyan 2 Trunks, you know, like, that super, super old support unit from, I don't know, like five years ago. Finally, finally getting a token awakening, man. This man has been memed so hard just because of how long, like, he was 
in the game without a token awakening, and they finally gave him some respect, finally gave him a token awakening. This is uh, a big deal, guys. It, it's a very historical moment in uh, Tokan history, I guess. So there you go. And we also have some new stages for the Dragon Ball Super, or sorry, Super Dragon Ball Heroes, not Dragon Ball Super. Super Dragon Ball Heroes Dark Empire Saga, stages 3 and 4. And we also have a new Dokkan event for the Super Saiyan God Trunks. Once again, uh, I don't believe he's a Dokkan, uh, Dokkan Fest exclusive unit. He's just a non Dokkan Fest unit with a Dokkan event, kind of like Mass Saiyan or the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito from last year. We have some assets for the Super Dragon Ball Heroes and Androids Extreme Z Battles. So this one is for all of the uh, seven older Heroes units. And this one is for the uh, 16, the Tech 16, and the STR 21. And let's see what else we have. Uh, some sticker masks for all these guys that are getting Dokkan Awakenings, or sorry, Extreme Z Awakenings. So sticker mask for the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, sticker mask for the Baby Janemba. We also have sticker masks for Super Saiyan 3 Trunks, and also Super Pycon, and uh, Darkness Toa, and the Super Saiyan 3 Gohan. And finally, the uh, Boobity, as I like to call him, the um, Muajin Buu slash uh, Bobbity combo, I guess. Kind of weird, but it is what it is. And oh, there's more. Okay, so we have the 21 sticker mask and also the 16 sticker mask. And this is for the uh, transformed uh, 21 as well. Pretty cool. And then a bunch of Extreme Z Awakening medals, all the medals for the Toa, all the medals for the Baby Janemba, for the Boobity, and also Pycon, of course. We got Super Saiyan 3 Trunks, we got Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, and also Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, along with the 16 and the 21. So lots of stuff in this data download, guys. Big, big data download. We also have a uh, Dokkan Awakening, or sorry, Extreme Sea Awakening once again for the, I think, Fizz Vegeta from the Hero Extermination event, and also the Fizz uh, Gohan. Actually, this Vegeta might be a different type. Is he Fizz or STR? No, it was STR Vegeta before. I forgot what type this guy was, but either way, uh, two new Extreme Z Awakenings for the Hero Extermination event, and also the Extreme Z Awakening for the uh, Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2 is also dropping within the next 24 hours or so. And uh, we have a new Trade Jewel. This is kind of interesting. So this is um, a new stone. We don't really know exactly what it's for, but maybe we can use it to exchange for an older Heroes unit, which is kind of cool. I mean... I'm hoping it like gives us the option to get like all units up until last year's collab and uh, you can get one maybe with each stone maybe it's part of like a dragon stone pack you have to buy or if it's free to play that'd be even better right so I'm hoping it's free to play we'll see but yeah new heroes dragon stone and also some new story assets we have a Xeno trunks we have a demigra we have supreme kai of time brainwash this it's really cool. Like I said, I really like this art. And uh, also the more mature uh, Supreme Kai of Time. And then we have Xeno Gotenks, we have Xeno Gohanks, um, Super Saiyan God Xeno Trunks. That aura is fire. Literally, it's fire, but it's, it, it's a dope aura for sure. <laughs> and uh, we also have uh, more Xeno Super Saiyan God Trunks, that crazy sword. Looking kind of like a Keyblade, to be honest. And uh, we have Poutine story asset, we have Robelu story asset, we have Mechikabura story asset, new background, and some more new backgrounds. So there you go guys, that was, uh, or those are all the assets from the, the data download um, from this morning, like six hours ago. And uh, just to make sure we don't go over 20 minutes, let's pop over to the Twitter page of... Uh, Minato's Flash. Big shout out to Minato's Flash. He did the translations for all of the awakenings that we got last night. So uh, 
We really appreciate it, man. I'm sure it took a lot of work, took a lot of time. This is amazing. So let's start with the attack Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Uh, leader skill is Super Saiyan 3, category key plus 3, and HP attack and defense plus 120%, or tech type skill plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Super attack, supreme damage, raises attack and defense, oh, sorry, attack by 50% and defense by 30% for 6 turns, and passive is attack and defense. Hold on, let me just uh, take my face away. So don't block anything. Passive, attack and defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack plus 60%, and defense plus 30% for 6 turns after receiving an attack. Plus an additional attack plus 10%, up to 60%, defense and chance to perform a critical hit, plus 5%, up to 30% for each attack received. So overall looking pretty good. Um, big increase on the super attack for attack and defense, and then a good boost on the uh, passive, and also increased chance of uh, crits, and uh, what else? More attack and defense for attacks received. So yeah, he looks pretty solid. Okay, moving on to the Fizz Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Unfortunately, I can't spend too much time on each of these awakenings and uh, comment too much because obviously there's a lot of them. So Fizz Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, leader skill Super Saiyan 3, category key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 120%, or Fizz types key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 90%, supreme damage, and uh, raises attack and defense. Oh, once again, attack plus 50% and defense plus 30% for six turns. I'm so used to the attack and defense boost being the same on super attacks that I get confused, but it's attack plus 50%, so more attack, and then defense plus 30% for six turns. Passive attack and defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack plus 10%, up to 60% defense and chance of performing a critical hit plus 5% up to 30% for each attack received. So this part is identical to the other Vegeta. And then medium chance to guard all attacks, high chance to guard all attacks when HP is 60% or below, and uh, reduces damage received by 40% when guard is activated. So this Vegeta seems to be a more defensive version of uh, this Vegeta. So basically the tech one's more offensive, the Fizz one is going to be a better defender in most cases. And then we have the STR Super Saiyan 2 Teen Trunks Awakening. Once again, guys, the one that we've been waiting for forever. Uh, we have Leader Skill Crossover Category Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense Plus 120%, or All Types Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense Plus uh, 70%. Super Attack Effect causes Supreme Damage and raises Attack and Defense for three turns. Note this is a 50% buff. And then passive is attack and defense plus 120% when performing a super attack, plus an additional uh, attack plus 30%, defense plus 15%, chance to perform a critical hit plus 15% for each crossover category ally attacking in the same turn. Uh, self excluded. All allies keep plus one, attack and defense plus 25%, crossover category allies keep plus one, and attack and defense plus 15%. So basically, for crossover allies, he's going to be giving key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 40%. So this guy, this Trunks, and the Super Saiyan God Trunks should make a very, very good rotation because of the support he's getting. And of course, he's also getting a uh, nice buff for himself, and he's also raising his attack and defense by 50% uh, for 3 turns on the Super. So great token awakening, guys. Great, great token awakening. Can't complain. Now we got the... Uh, STR uh, 21 Extreme Z Awakening. All right, so uh, this is before the uh, transformation. So leader skill, uh, Android category, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 160%. Super attack causes immense damage and recovers 12% HP. Passive is key plus three, attack and defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 21% when performing a super attack. When HP is 80% or more, plus an additional attack and defense plus 21%. Attack enemy, attack and defense, minus 21% for two turns, and transforms when conditions are met. And the transformation conditions are 40% chance to consume cell from turn 4 when HP is 40% or above. So after turn 4, as long as you're above 40% HP, then every turn you have a 40% chance to transform. And once you transform, super attack becomes raises attack, causes immense damage, and lowers attack and defense. And passive is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 150%, recovers 15% HP, 
I'm assuming that's every single turn, plus an additional attack and defense plus 21%, disables enemy's guard, and additional attack plus attack and defense plus 21% when HP is 60% or more uh, when performing a super attack. And then we have the tech Android 16 Extreme Z Awakening. Leader skill is super tech type ski plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 110%, Super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes supreme damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 100%, plus an additional defense plus 40%, up to 160% per Android's category ally on the team, plus an additional attack plus 16%, up to 80% each time guard is activated, and high chance to guard all attacks. Really good. So uh, now we have some heroes. Extreme Z Awakenings, starting with the SDR Pycon, leader skill is all types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 80%, super attack raises attack and defense, infinitely stacking, causes supreme damage and greatly lowers attack, and passive is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 120%, when facing one enemy, perform an additional attack which has a high chance to become a super attack, when facing two or more enemies, perform an additional attack which has a great chance of becoming a super attack, and then plus an additional attack and defense plus 60% if target enemy is in attack down status. So essentially if you're facing uh, one enemy, then you get the uh, high chance for an additional super attack. Whereas if you're facing two enemies, then the uh, additional attack has a 70% chance, a great chance of becoming a super attack. And uh, that's the STR Pycon. Now we have AGL Darkness Toa. Leader skill AGL types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%. Super attack causes supreme damage and greatly lowers attack and defense. Passive attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when facing a super class enemy. Defense plus 80% when there is an extreme class enemy. Extreme class allies, key plus 3, and attack and defense plus 40%. Awesome. When HP is 30% or less, Extreme Class Allies attack and defense plus 60% and recovers 100% HP once only. So when you fall below 30%, she gets this crazy, crazy support. And she also fully heals you. So that's the AG Hell Darkness Toa. And we also have Int Boobity. Uh, leader skill Int types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%, super attack. Greatly raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage with a high chance to stun. And passive is attack and defense plus 120% when HP is 81% or more, plus an additional attack plus 100% and all allies defense plus 50%. When HP is 80% or below, plus an additional defense plus 100% and all allies keep plus 3, and attack plus 50%, recovers 8% HP. So this passive is actually really interesting. Basically, when you're at high HP, so above 80%, he gets uh, more attack, he's more offensive, but he makes the rest of the rotation more defensive by providing defense support. And then when you're below 80%, then he becomes more defensive, but he makes the rest of your rotation more offensive by providing more attack support. So uh, kind of a cool concept right there, I like it a lot. There's the boobity, and we have the tech Super Saiyan 3 Team Go Tanks Extreme Z Awakening, Leader Skill, Tech Types Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 100%, Super Attack, Supreme Damage, and Raises Attack and Defense for 6 turns. Note this is a 50% raise. Passive Attack and Defense plus 100% plus an additional Attack and Defense, or sorry, just Attack plus 100% when performing a Super Attack. Key plus 1 up to 3, and Attack and Defense plus 10% up to 30% for each Super Attack performed. High chance to perform an additional Super Attack for 5 turns. From first appearance so nothing crazy here just a solid attack and defense boost um, high chance for the additional super for the first five turns and also a big attack and defense boost on the super attack and moving on to the int super saiyan 3 team gohan leader skill is int types key plus 3 hp attack and defense plus 100 percent super attack supreme damage and seals super attack and raises attack for nine turns and passive is key plus 2, attack and defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 70% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% with 3 or more key spheres obtained, chance to perform a critical hit plus 30% with 5 or more key spheres obtained, and reduces damage received by 30% with 7 or more key spheres obtained. 
Uh, I like this, I like this. So basically he gets bigger and bigger boosts, or at least more and more effects, as you get more key spheres. And if you bring an orb changer with this guy, uh, he should be quite the monster. 30% chance to crit, 30% uh, damage reduction. So both offensively and defensively, it should be really impressive. As long as you can consistently get him a good amount of orbs, right? So that is the Int Super Saiyan 3 Gohan. And we also have the AGL Super Saiyan 3 Teen Trunks EZA. Leader skill, AGL types, key plus 3. HP, attack, and defense plus 100%. Super attack causes supreme damage and raises attack and defense for 9 turns. Passive is attack and defense plus 120%, disables enemy's guard, high chance to guard enemy attacks, plus an additional attack plus 30% within the same turn when guard is activated, plus an additional attack plus 12% up to 60% for each attack received, plus an additional attack plus 12% up to 60% for each attack performed. Okay, so he's still going to be a defensive monster, but now they gave him a lot more offensive capabilities as well, which was something that was missing from this unit, right? Like, it was not hitting very hard. Um, he was always a really, really good tank, but he was just not doing any respectable amount of damage. So now, with all these additional attack boosts, his damage should be uh, quite respectable. And what else do we have? Uh, oh, Supreme Kai of Time and Robelu. So we actually didn't get the details for these two units, um, on Twitter a few days ago, so now we have them here, but before we get to them I want to quickly go through the uh, easy a details for Baby Janemba. Okay, so Baby Janemba, leader skill, HL types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%, super attack, uh, raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense, and passive is recovers 12% HP, Attack and defense plus 120%, high chance to evade enemy attacks, plus an additional 12% chance to evade enemy attacks within the same turn with each attack evaded. If HP is 60% or more, plus an additional attack and defense plus 120% when performing a super attack. So he already has a 50% built in chance, but then with every attack he evades, he gets an additional 12%. So after like for evasions, he has a 100% chance to dodge for only that turn though. So at the start of every turn, it's 50% and then it adds 12% for every dodge. And everything else looks good as well. Big attack and defense boost, 12% HP recovery. Um, that's the AGL Baby Janemba. And those are all of the Extreme Z Awakenings for the older Heroes units. The last thing we got to do is just go over uh, the Supreme Kai of Time the Robelu, and also the Demon Goddess Poutine. So let's start with the Supreme Kai of Time. Leader skill is crossover category Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%, super attack, raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and lowers attack and defense, and passive is rare chance to stun all enemies and attack and defense plus 90%. So I guess as soon as she appears on rotation, she has that like 20%-ish chance to stun everybody immediately, which is pretty cool. And uh, plus an additional attack and defense plus 90% when performing a super attack, plus an additional 90% attack when target enemy is in attack down status, plus an additional 90% attack when target enemy is in defense down status, plus an additional 90% attack when target enemy super attack is sealed, plus an additional 90% attack when target enemy is stunned. Okay, so I guess at her max potential, she can get something like, what is it, 450% attack? Yeah, if you add up all the 90%, she can, I guess in theory, get up to 450% attack. Um, and also 180% defense, which is pretty decent. But damn. Okay. Uh, Link's demonic power, telekinesis, more than meets the eye, battlefield diva, master of magic, and godly power. Um, and this is without a Dokken Awakening, guys, if you can believe it. And uh, her categories are Realm of Gods, Patara, Time Travelers, DB Heroes, Crossover, and Corroded Body and Mind. Now we have Robelu, leader skill is DB Heroes, category key plus 3, HP attack defense plus 120%, super attack. Uh, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and seals super attack. 
and passive is attack and defense plus 80% plus an additional attack and defense plus 80% when attacking plus an additional attack plus 180% when target enemy super attack is sealed. Changes random type of key sphere to rainbow key spheres. High chance to evade enemy attacks. High chance to reveal enemy super attacks if there is another DB heroes category ally attacking in the same turn. Links are Brainiac, Solid Support, Cold Judgment, Battlefield Diva, Loyalty, and Master of Magic. And categories are Peppy Gals, Time Travelers, Crossover, DB heroes. Um, yeah, Robelu is really powerful too. And she does a lot. She has a lot of utility, right? She seals, she changes key spheres to rainbow key spheres, high evasion chance, high chance to reveal super attacks, which is always extremely, extremely useful. And uh, once again, this is no token awakening yet. So imagine when both these girls get a token awakening and an extreme C awakening at some point in the future. It's going to be pretty crazy. And lastly, last but not least, we have the free to play Demon Goddess Boutine. Leader skill is crossover category Q plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage with a medium chance to stun. And passive is attack and defense plus 120% for every crossover category ally, excluding this character, plus an additional attack and defense plus 12%, plus an additional attack plus 70% when target enemy super attack is sealed or stunned and uh, you know if the enemy is stunned not if their super attack is stunned and crossover category allies keep plus 2 attack and defense plus 30% attack enemies attack minus 20% and seals super attack links are demonic power solid support cold judgment tracking speed battlefield diva master of magic and shattering the limit and categories are peppy gals time travelers terrifying conquerors tv heroes and crossover Oh my god, this is a amazing free-to-play unit. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing her stats, you know, will not be the greatest. Uh, she's probably going to max out at like, maybe below 10,000 attack, I'm not sure, haven't seen the stats, but, you know, usually these free-to-play units have pretty poor stats, right? But with that said, that passive is amazing, um, great support, she can seal, she can stun, and... Um, yeah, she's going to be a really good filler for the Heroes team for sure, or crossover slash Heroes team. If you guys are missing uh, certain pieces to that team, like she's going to be a really good fill-in. So there you have it. Uh, oh, we ran out of music. Yo, this video has been going for so long that <laughs> the music stopped. So let me just play something real quick. Let's do this. Let's do that. There we go. Well, there you have it guys. Those are all the details for all of these awakenings, all these extremes the awakenings. Like I said, man, this was gonna be a bit of a longer video. It ended up being a lot longer than I thought it would be, but it's okay. Hopefully it was worth it. Big shout out to my boy Proton10MG. Big shout out to Minato's Flash for the translations. And uh, also, once again, a shout out to Gamersups for sponsoring the channel, for sending me this shirt or giving your boy his first waifu cup. Big, big fan of their stuff. If you guys want to pick up your own Gamersups or waifu branded stuff, then feel free to go check them out. Gamersups.gg in my description. And use my code TIGER for 20% off your entire purchase. And that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut Bria. Signing out.